Hi everyone, this is Diane, and I am doing a hop for Bethany, who is uh, my crafty BFF on YouTube and Instagram, and she is the organizer and host of this hop. And this hop is called uh, Creative Happy Mail Packaging Ideas, and all the ladies that are in the hop will be listed down below, and I would really appreciate if you'd watch each one and like and comment on their videos and subscribe. Um, we are going to be showing how to make creative packaging. I will use bag toppers, no problem. I have lots of dyes that do bag toppers, but I like to package my items sometimes in a very fun way. Uh, the last swap that I was in, I made uh, Scrap Diva Designs flip-flops and I made it into a folder with pockets to hold some bag toppers and my go-to that I really enjoy doing is this little cell phone holder that is a die made or made sold by uh, Erica at Scrap Diva Designs and this is her information. This is the die that I will be using today along with some more dies from KS Crafts and flower dies too. So on this little phone die, I use the base, which is this piece. And I actually do cut out several of these pieces to make a pocket and I'll show you how I do that. This is the layering piece and the layering piece is what puts the layers on your dies or on the back and front cover so it's the it's the back the front cover and this and inside here which I've already created you can make a shaker this part is the layering piece as you can see it doesn't cut out but it cuts out your bottom part and your acetate and this part will cut out your foam and the layer that goes around the foam and this little piece is the strap that goes on the phone. And I did create the little buttons and you can put little um, messages on here. I don't normally do that, I have done it, but I usually just do a shaker because it's fun. I like to acetate because I like to be able to put glue dots on here and attach items so that it doesn't, uh, it pulls off easy. So I'm going to put these dies away because I'm going to show you that you can just, uh, now this is the size about a phone. This is my phone and this is the size. So it's, it's fairly accurate as you can see. This is a newer phone so it's a little smaller than my my other phone. You can make a square rectangle and you can use a corner rounder and round off the corners. And you can make your own little cell phone case. You don't necessarily need to buy the dies. So to do that and to um, use this area, this is, our, this is built into the die, but you can make little strips. You can either make a strip that has two where you uh, score down and attach it to the phone case like this, like how I'm going to be doing is two straps. Or the easiest way is to make the dimension that you want in the middle. This is going to be like a the binding and then create strips along the side. I think this is a fourth, but you can make it longer like an inch or not an inch, a half an inch. And then you can put it on yourself. And when you put your layering piece on it, you won't even see it. So you can actually do this yourself and you can make it either smaller or larger. On this particular one, I'm going to add a pocket because I want it to hold some items. So what I did was I used the die and I made this piece. Now you can just do it how, like this if you want. I mean, it's really the same thing. And what I did was I cut it into pieces and I glued it on like this. And, and I will show you, I will glue the bottom on. Um, if I can get the top off, there we go.
and we are just going to glue it right on the bottom. And this way we can create a little pocket to hold some items. It's not really so much for a gusset, but it will give us a little bit of space and it will give us all this extra room. And that way we can make sure that we are not gluing it to the paper. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that on. I mean, it's just fairly simple, just little, little pieces, but it's, it's simple enough to where you can do it without die cuts. All you have to do is just do the same size as any paper that you cut as a triangle or a rectangle, not triangle, sorry. And then just use the corner rounder. And if you do both pieces, now you wouldn't be able to do the shaker exactly like how she has the little buttons and stuff, but um, you don't necessarily have to do a shaker either, but that's what I'm doing. Now this little pocket I made so I can put in little die cuts and this will be a packaging, not only for die cuts, but a little bit of embellishments too, right? So that just makes it easy. And then when I glue the gusset together, which will be this way, it will give me that much room. And with that much room, what I can do is I can add bows. So when I glue it together, it will fit. Now I will glue it together and then I'll show you, you how, how much room you have. Uh, this idea actually came from Erica. I watched one of her videos quite a while ago and uh, she came up with this idea or she did the tutorial and I just ran with it. I thought it was a great idea. Actually, the, the gusset is to be um, folded and uh, used a different way, but I like this way because it does make it wider. And who doesn't want wider? Well, or you might not want it wider. I want it wider because I really enjoy doing this. And I do it with a lot of dies. If you have big dies, you can do it with a lot of dies. Like I said, I did um, Erica sandals, but we all have those um, albums that we can use, right? You, we, can, we can do it this way by just adding a little gusset to it, more like this size. And I think Erica and I think KS Craft also both sell uh, the little, let me see if I can find them. Oh, I, I think I only bought Erica's, but they, they both sell these little strips. Long strips, and you can use these to make items into a, like a box. I have this little die that came from KF's Craft, and you could do the same thing if you made a purse. You can just use a little gusset and make it into a little folder or a little embellishment book. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you can do with your dies. They don't have to be exactly for what the original form is, right? So I think that this is dry enough. And what I do on this particular one is I don't glue where this little strap's going to go. And as you can see how much room I have. Let's see. You can see how much room I have in there. So... Um, you can decorate the front, which I'm going to do off camera, but you can put embellishments like bows. See how the bow fits? So you can put a bunch of bows. I've done that where I've lined up a bunch of bows. Or you can do a bunch of flowers. And these are just the embellishments that I have right on hand. You can put as many as you want there, but see it closes just right, exactly right. It fits. If they're comfortable, they won't get smashed. And I think it's a really creative way to package items. So there you go. And um, with our creative minds, you can just think of all kinds of things. These are just things that I had on, on hand. If you make, uh, these are not thick words. But if you made nice, thick words on foam, these also can be put in here. 
And all you need to do is just put a little bit of a glue dot there. And when they take them off, it's right on this acetate. Now this is a colored acetate, but any acetate, they can just take it off without harming the cover. And then when they get done taking all the embellishments off, they'll have a cute little um, package they can either reuse or they can keep. So there you go. So be sure to uh, visit each one. And you guys have a very blessed day. And may God bless it. Bye.